Hello and welcome. My name is Nilaus. This is another channel update, this time for March. We haven't had one of these in a while, so I thought it would be a good idea to do one. Let's have a look at what we're doing on the channel. And I think it's it's been a while. There's a lot of thing, interesting things that have happened. So let's have a look. Um, first, let's give an update on the content creation I, in the content creation section. Well, as you may have noticed, I've started streaming a bit more. I've also moved completely away from Twitch and now moving into YouTube. I think YouTube streaming is working really well. I get more viewers than I did on Twitch, so that's a good thing. There is a, a bit of a problem with the monetization on YouTube, but that is that that is what it is. But I really like streaming on YouTube. It feels much more um, much more like my home, so I can also put these events up on my, my own channel page. So when you drop by, you can say, all right, where's the next stream? As you can see here as well, I've also... Oh, I try to keep up with when my next stream is. My somewhat regular streaming schedule is Mondays are completely regular and also on. Sorry, but why did I have my alarm clock set off now? Sorry. Um, Mondays are regular. I try to keep Fridays regular because I have the kids every other Friday. So those are regular. But the other ones, well, I try. Otherwise, I'll try to find some other way other day. I really want to stream two days a week. Uh, that's that's my aim. That also meant that I've had to cut down on some of my content creation. I am no longer uploading a Factorio video every day, but only every other day. That's my modular megabase. And this is quite obvious from the views and sort of progress on the channel that it's been dipping quite significantly as that transition happened. But I have to do that. It's um, I, I, I'm going to burn out and also I'm going to flood the channel with content and people will lose track because they can't keep up. So I hope this one's better. Please give me feedback on what, what you think. I also had uh, two videos in this 10 minute product management. I love doing them. I love the feedback I got. But spending one day of work on this for 800 views, I just can't see this being sustainable. As much as I love doing this, it's, it doesn't add up, right? So I want to keep going, but I need to find a way to do this easier. What I'm, uh, if you look at my, on my Patreon page, well, we have, we are actually, I'm doing pretty well on this. I'm, I really am quite happy about the support. It's, it's really amazing. What is also uh, here is that we are approaching the milestone, the next milestone, where I said at 500, uh, then I'll be buying some more professional recording equipment. And I think I'll be doing more of a vlog format instead of sitting here by my computer with some heads up things that I prepare in advance. I think it's actually better for me to just uh, do the stand up. Maybe if you have a whiteboard, I might, uh, might buy one of those just to do some sketching on that as well. I think that would be, that would be an interesting concept and it would be a lot easier for me to manage uh, to produce the content because my passion is not with video editing as i'm sure you've noticed let's um now i should have had my confluence page up that's annoying i'm just going to bring it up can't remember how to get out of that one there this is my confluence page I hope you are noticing this in all of my videos. I linked to this page. This is where I'm uploading on, on what we have on the left hand side that you can't really see. I have my uh, links to what, all the questions I get asked, like who am I? What are the credentials? What are the technical specifications of my, my setup? What's my schedule? And also links to resources, so all the blueprints and map seeds and save games. And eh, not always save games, very rarely actually. And all that I have uh, stored in one location. And that's, I think that's a pretty good idea. It, it, it allows me to sort of say, hey, if you want some, some background material, this is always where you look. All blueprints, all map seeds, all uh, additional files, this is where you can find it. And if it's not here, let me know in the comments or in Discord and I'll be sure to add it. I wanna keep this updated. So let's look at all the other stuff that's going on in the channel. Well, we have Factorio, obviously Factorio is a big thing and that's uh, that's something we, we of course are continuing with. We have the modular mega base as much as I love this base and I get a lot of feedback. We also have to acknowledge that it is nearing the end. Uh, at soon I'll be hard pressed to, to find new things to build. 
and then it's a matter of hooking up more output and more modules and at that stage well it's going to transition into being basically three hours off off screen to half an hour on screen and i just can't support that that kind of thing for for gameplay like this i am intending to when i end it it's probably going to be a couple more weeks so i i i don't exactly know but i feel that there's at least 10 episodes more uh, in this uh, maybe even maybe even 20 but you know you don't know then I'll be uh, making this as a community map, so be sure to check out my Discord community. It's been a really lively place lately, and I'm actually having trouble keeping up myself. So um, I do read pretty much everything that goes on there, but I just don't always have the time to uh, to reply and engage in conversation. I love the fact that it's so active, and I really am quite happy with all the new people who come in and who just make it such a great place. So definitely thank you to uh, all of you regulars. And this is also where it comes in from the Patreon. This is, of course, coming in from there. So the C Block stream, I hope you've uh, noticed it. I am enjoying it so much with those two days a week of streaming. It's quite hard on me, to be perfectly honest, uh, taking four hours, two days a week of streaming. But I enjoy it very much. I, I'm going to continue, continue the series. It's going to be, it's pretty much my best base I've built yet. And then even on a C Block, it's really amazing. Now I'm also doing some preparation for the next YouTube series to kind of, to start up when modular megabase ends, or maybe just have a short overlap. Then that'll be a modded series. I can't really go into too much detail, but you know what mods I like, so it's probably going to be along the same lines. It'll not be anything new and crazy, but it'll be very much focused on what we know and what we're we're good at. Uh, that's on the Factorio front. What I'm also doing is I'm I started the one community map. I I linked that on Reddit. And also, of course, on my channel with the sub the subscriber community map. That was an awesome base. And I have another awesome base that I really look forward to doing a review on. So if you're part of my community, if you uh, I see a lot of people who are sharing screenshots of their bases in progress, let me know. I think this is a great idea for sort of additional content on my channel doing reviews because I learned a lot. Imagine that, right? Uh, from these uh, these reviews because everyone has their different ways of doing it and I think that's that's like the most brilliant part about Factorio it, it, the, the building blocks are so simple but we uh, we can keep finding new ways to combine it and uh, so I'm, I'm going to be making more of these community reviews because they're very educational for everyone and of course also the occasional Factorio engineering video where I take some kind of complex topic and try to dissect it and make it more digestible so um, other content, oxygen not included, I'm going to continue this. I'm quite happy with the support. It's, uh, it's of course not factorial level support, but I think it's great to have something else as well on the channel. And I'm really enjoying these uh, silly little dupes. It's also a great opportunity for me to name my um, um, name the supporters and give them a, a little heads up for for what the yeah, a recognition for the support they give, they're giving me. It's also really fun to sit in there and shout at these silly dupes that are, of course, the members of the community. Uh, now, also another place where I'll be killing off the supporters is the upcoming Darkest Dungeon DLC. There's a new update coming out. It's announced in the spring and it is spring now, but there's been basically only a single screenshot as, uh, as a reveal from it. It's called Colors of Madness and I'm really looking forward to it. When it hits, I'm going to play it like crazy. Um, maybe do some streams, maybe do some, maybe take some, take some days off. I don't exactly know how, what, where, and why, but when it hits, I'm going to put it on as a, as a regular thing on my channel. So that means I'll have a regular YouTube, a regular Factorio channel, a regular Factorio Let's Play, a regular Oxygen Not Included Let's Play, a regular stream, and then also adding Darkest Dungeon. You can see this, this is getting quite heavily. And this is also where I'm, I'm, I'm planning, I just want to mention like two words about what uh, with Exterminator, what his um, the fact that he's quitting his job to be a full time YouTuber. I'm I'm so impressed by the courage he's showing to do that because I I don't think his channel in and of itself is big enough to support him going uh, going of using that as a sole income. I'm quite impressed by it, and it also of course by inspired people like me to say really maybe maybe you should also look at this as it's still a hobby and it will always be a hobby, but man, could it be more than a hobby? Could it be like a safety net if uh, if my uh, my stupidity at work uh, means that I suddenly find myself without a work? Then it's very nice to have this cushion or this sort of alternative way of making making ends meet. And 
I, I need to also focus on this and and this is also where I'm it's a hard thing thing to say for me on on stream but or, or on video but it's I love the this um I love streaming it's great but it takes eight hours a week of streaming that's a lot of time to spend and at the end of the day because of the way YouTube works I cannot monetize my streams and when they go up on YouTube afterwards, it takes a while until they can be monetized, which means basically I produce eight hours of content a week that cannot be monetized. That sucks. And I'm going to keep doing it, but it's, um, yeah, if I was on Twitch, there would be bit flying left and right. I'm sure. I hope. Um, also YouTube subscription sponsorship versus Twitch subscription, people are just not used to playing, paying money on YouTube, which is fine. It's not what we, it, it's basically an ad based platform, but on Twitch, I mean, I could easily, I had 30 subscribers on Twitch and I wasn't even doing anything, but on YouTube, which is a bigger platform, more views, more everything. I have three sponsors and I'm really happy about these three sponsors, but it also just indicates the difference between YouTube and Twitch in terms of monetization on, on the platform. And that's uh, something I, have, of course, have to consider as well. I'm going to continue streaming on uh, on YouTube at, for as long as it absolutely makes sense. And I hope that uh, that you'll be supporting me by dropping dropping by the the streams. Uh, and of course, I can always say the usual YouTuber thing. It would be great if uh, if you could help spread the word. I I feel that the community has grown, but my YouTube channel has at best stagnated and that's a bit of shame because i feel that we're doing more interesting things and it's been it's going better so it's a bit sad to see that the monthly views are actually dropping so um that's also sort of a, a cry for uh, for help please let me know what i need to do different what i need to do more of what i need to do less of in order to sort of grow my channel i don't want to be compromising who i am so you'll not see me as some screaming youtuber uh, like the classical YouTube type, I am my own cool, calm self. Um, and I'm not going to start playing FPSs or anything. I play these uh, slow, methodical, technical games. So let me know what you think would fit the channel. Also considering it has to take away from something else because there's just too many things ongoing at, at, at the moment. I'd love to have more time, but I, unfortunately I can't make more time for for this as it is now. So with that, thank you very much for joining. I didn't want this to turn into a rant. So I'm really happy with the support. I'm really happy about the, the, the streaming schedule. I'm really happy about all the activity in the Discord. So drop by the Discord um, and just spread the good word and have fun. So thank you for your support so far. It's been awesome. And I'm really proud of where we got. And there's many more things to come. So thank you. See you around.